Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Nkolisi, the son of Nube. Uh, I hope I find you well. Those who are in South Africa on holiday, uh, it's Women's Day. And I would like to take this opportunity to wish all women in Africa uh, and across the world a wonderful day. Uh, I know there are some countries where uh, today is not a, a public holiday, but here in South Africa where we are based, it is a public holiday. And therefore, I hope that people are involved in several festivities elsewhere that honor women and that uh, women do feel loved and cherished. They do feel appreciated wherever they are. So it is a wonderful day for you and for us as offspring of women, as people who live with men, as a people, with women, as people, um, we have daughters. Uh, now, the case that I'm here to, to talk about or the issue that I'm here to present is uh, a worrying uh, dossier that we got from an organization which has been uh, monitoring the campaigns in Zimbabwe. You will know that Zimbabwe is on the 23rd of this month going to its harmonized election where people will be expected to vote for their councillors, for their members of parliament, for their senators, and their president. So now what we get is that there is a document uh, from ACT Southern Africa, which is uh, an organization which monitors usually uh, issues of corruption. It monitors cases of corruption and exposes them. So now what they have is uh, a list uh, of cases in which certain individuals were mentioned uh, have been accused of vote buying. You'd know that in Zimbabwe, under the Electoral Act, it is an offense for a candidate or a party official to do or to engage in vote buying. But here they have about nine cases that uh, they've documented, which they then sent out. We received that uh, yesterday and the day before, where they mention uh, political party uh, members especially candidates of those political parties uh, engaging in incidents uh, of vote buying. Some of those have been even asked about those cases. One of them, a triple C member, has even admitted that he did that. Uh, these vote uh, buying uh, activities involve uh, activities that can be viewed as trying to indirectly coerce people into voting a particular individual based on what they did uh, in, the, in the form of a political bribe of some sort other than based on the manifestos of these uh, political candidates or the ideologies that they presented as a party or their character as a potential leader. So these cases, we have about nine of them uh, from ex Southern Africa and I'm going to go through case by case I hope you're going to be patient enough uh, to then uh, hear about these cases. So please uh, be there as we take you through them. This is Act SA's sixth issue of the Electoral Corruption Monitoring Tracker. In this issue, we have included in the list of alleged vote buyers Dr. Donwell Bangure, a citizen for, of a citizen coalition for change. Triple C representative contesting the Koke Nebuzia constituency seat in the House of Assembly. It is alleged that Dong Noel Bangure donated more than 100 bags of cement to Nyato Primary School, Dongokara Primary School, Mawaya Preschool, and for repairing the Chenye to deep tank in the Koke Nebuzia constituency in exchange for votes ahead of the 23 August. 2023 elections. Since the beginning of the tracker, Act SA has received reports linking the following individuals to vote by. The sixth tracker includes a comprehensive list that includes the allegations against them. So these are the highlights. Number one is President Emerson Nangakwa, who is also uh, the ZANU PF candidate in the presidential race. Uh, he is accused of vote buying through the presidential agricultural input schemes, uh, food aid and welfare programs, youth and empowerment programs, public infrastructure projects, 
bore-hole drilling program as well as intimidation and coercion. All allegations of vote buying linked to other ZANU PF politicians below also applies to President Mnangawa since they are also campaigning for him. Number two is uh, Honorable July Moyo, the current Minister of Local Government, Public Works and National Housing. He is accused of massive vote buying through dishing out church stands, cement, food, books, drilling boreholes for the electorate in the constituency. Uh, number three is Petisai Scott Sabupwanya. Uh, this one is a, a, a millionaire Zimbabwean miner who is involved in gold mining, uh, who is also a Zimbabwean entrepreneur, businessman and ZANU-PF politician. He is accused of vote buying ahead of the 23 August 2023 election through offering free loans and transport to voters in the Mavuku Tafara constituency in exchange for votes. Number four is Mr. Tavengwa Mukushani, a representative of the ruling ZANU-PF political party contesting for the Mongdorongezi constituency seat in the House of Assembly. He is accused of donating building materials to Twin Tops Primary School and my daughter secondary school and kitchen utensils to voters in the TEF area under the Mondorongezi constituency in exchange for their votes. Number five is Mr. Christopher Mutswanga, that is Ambassador Christopher Mutswanga rather, the ZANU PF national spokesperson who is accused of supporting the vote buying of, of supporting the buying of votes through giving title deeds to residents of informal segments. He was quoted saying, we now have a system that creates title deeds. We are targeting to issue a prospective uh, 1.3 million title deeds before elections. As part of the vote buying, 265 residents in Epworth received title deeds. He has also been accused of speaking as if he is a government official, yet he is a spokesperson for ZANU-PF, which is a distinct institution from government. We have number six, Hubert Angel, uh, who is also uh, the presidential envoy, envoy and ambassador at large to Europe and the Americas. Uh, you would know that he is also a, a pastor uh, and he is also implicated by Al Jazeera in the cold mafia donated food. I mean, he donated food and other goodies to the ZANU-PF political party for vote buying purposes. Number seven is Owen Nube. You know him as Owen Muta Nube, the former security minister. Uh, he's accused of donating 20 bags of cement at Jamba School, 20 bags of cement at Marirangwe School, 20 bags of cement at Katema School, and blankets at Jamba Clinic. Other donations made include flags and ball and balls to six schools in Koko as well as the construction of a school laboratory named after his moniker that is nicknamed Mbujo Laboratory. Number eight, Tinashe Machemete is accused of distributing chronic illness medication to people of Ward 7 in the Katanga area of Norton in exchange for their force. He is a ZANU PF member again. In the Jerez, and number nine, in the Jerez Central constituency, uh, Fanuel Mabope, who is the Ward 5 aspiring councillor for ZANU PF, allegedly distributed a rise to voters in exchange for votes. And as Southern Africa says, this list is a drop in the ocean. Since most of the politicians linked to contesting political parties, including independent candidates, are involved in vote buying. However, as an analysis of the cases received since the launch of the campaign shows that 90% of the vote buyers are from the ruling ZANU-PF political party, while at least 10% from the political party, the triple C political party. So it's 90% ZANU-PF, 10% triple C. It also appears that law enforcement agents and ZEC are giving a blind eye to vote buying. Also perplexing are observations that some communities of voters appreciate more politicians who give them incentives compared to those who do not. They do not see any problem with vote buyers, which attests to a culture of corruption that has crept in and that might be difficult to dislodge if uh, ignored. So as we said, uh, this is uh, the 
the report uh, from Act Southern Africa uh, based on their electoral corruption uh, monitoring tracker and as we said uh, vote buying is a controversy is a contravention of section 136 subsection 1 subsection H of the electoral act chapter 2 uh, 13 and section 6 subsection F and subsection G of the political of the political parties code of conduct so ex southern africa concludes by urging political parties to refrain from vote buying ahead of the 23rd of august 2023 election uh, it recommends that law enforcement agents and zec that is zimbabwe electoral commission take care take corrective action which includes prosecution as well as disqualifying the corrupt politicians from contesting the elections. So this is what we had for you today. Uh, if you have also come across these cases uh, of vote buying, you are free also to contact, to contact us. You can look us up on Facebook. Our page is AVG News. Uh, we, you can also look us up on Twitter. Uh, and our handle there is AV Global News. And then you contact us, send us the stuff that you have. We are going to publish. If you don't want us to uh, include your name there, we are not going to include your name. If also you want interviews, uh, we are free to interview you wherever you are. But for now, uh, please enjoy the rest of your holiday. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.